Buffaloes are, I would say, very docile, stubborn, affectionate animals. They're uh, very, very intelligent. And the key thing I think you need is patience. Uh, when you're stressed, when you're getting nervous and all dirty and sweaty late at night, there's, the more you're aggressive, the more you're, not aggressive, but the more you're impatient, uh, fed up, you're, you're swearing, or there's no hope. Uh, they get more nervous, you don't advance, and you just waste more time, you get dirtier. If it doesn't work out, just let them go, finish it off with a little scratch on the back, tell them good girl, and next time. You always have to finish on a positive note. If you finish on a negative, they remember it next time, and you'll never, you'll, you won't get through. They, they, they don't know their strength, they want to play, but they're 2,000 pounds. You have to be careful. You have to know uh, when danger is. Never put yourself in a corner. Never put your back towards an animal. So there's little things you have to always follow. Come on, buddy. Farming for me was uh, just a passion of, um, actually I studied in agriculture, but in the vegetable part. Uh, vegetation, greenhouses, uh, everything to science with, to plants. Never thinking going back into animal. Uh, but then after that, going, uh, doing projects, thinking of uh, making cheese, selling cheese. So I said, why not? Start from A to Z. Milk the animals, find the animals, get your raw product, uh, produce, transform, and distribute my product. Right now, I'm a dirty farmer. You gotta work. You gotta, you gotta start from your way down up, and uh, you have to understand every aspect of water buffalo farming. You have to look, think positive, because it's sometimes very discouraging. Uh, you get dirty, very sweaty. It's very discouraging, but. Making the cheese makes my clients loving it, winning awards, so I guess it's very inspiring to continue.